down and not forget the lessons that I hold. I want to go where no one's been, far beyond the crowd. Hey, yeah. Learn the way to take command. Use the power that's in my hand. Okay guys, so welcome back to Pokemon Shining Opal. This is LPM with JT. Last time we left off, we entered this tournament in order to get the HM1, which is cut, so we can advance the game, or advance in the game. So I was doing some of the battling offline, I, I thought, or off air, off camera. Man, I can't come up with words today. And... I decided at the last minute that I would record the last battle. I was just going to go through it and do it and then come back. And after I had gotten the HM, you know, because I didn't think you guys wanted to watch that. So I, at the last minute, I decided to record this. So I forgot to record the commentary. My audio, the in game audio is captured, it's just my commentary. So. For the first, uh, I don't know, few s minutes or so, I, I don't know, quite know how long this clip is. I think it's a, a couple minutes long. It's not very long at all. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, we had already defeated Sand Slash by the time I decided to record this. So, this we're starting with Scyther. And look at this. I remembered that Scyther was a flying type. And it was a good thing that I remembered that. <laughs> Because it one-shotted him. So that, that was awesome. And we leave. I think Firo is fainted at this time. I'm not 100% sure. This pause right here is me uh, starting the recording. <laughs> That's why it was paused like that. The game. So yeah, he has this Raichu. And we just use a... I noticed that his... My confusion does as about as much or more than his quick attack. Yeah, a little bit more. So I, I figured he can quick, keep using quick attack. We can keep using confusion, and we will eventually get him. And that's pretty much all we did. It took me three tries, I think, to do this. This is my third attempt. One on camera that we did last episode. One off camera. And then this one. But actually I recorded the last, the one in the middle, the second attempt. I actually recorded that one. But that's it. Uh, after this will be live commentary and I'll see you guys when that happens. So I'll see you in a second. Hello guys and welcome back to Pokemon Shining Opal. This is LPM with JT. So, last episode, we def or tried to defeat this tournament. Was about, let's see, two, three, four, five trainers, if I'm not mistaken. I could be off by one or two. I think there was about five, though. And we came so, so close at last episode, but it just wasn't meant to be. And we lost. But we did gain a few levels out of it, so it wasn't a complete loss. It made it. A little bit easier to come back and try again so that's what I did I came back I tried again it took me a couple tries but I eventually did it and so we won now I decided at the last minute to record the the battle because I was just gonna play it without recording the battle and just you know come in right here but I decided at the last minute that I would record the battle and I forgot to record my commentary, so it's probably going to be post-commentary uh, right before this clip, before we come into the actual gameplay, live gameplay, I guess you would say. So, I don't know. I think that's what the plan's going to be, but thank you guys in advance for bearing with me on that. So, anyway... Because of your five consecutive victory... Oh, well, it tells us right there in plain text. There was five trainers. So I was right. You get an HM1. Please head upstairs to receive your prize from the technician at a PC. Okay, so we have to go talk to... One of those scientists, nerds, or whatever they are. 
that we kind of blew off the first time. HM1. Um, I don't know. That's, will there be more prizes? We might come back later if there are actually more prizes. It'd be kind of fun. So let's run over to the Pokemon Center. Running and ice skating. Uh, it. Well, that's not the Poke Center. So if you're new to the channel, I mean, I do. I have been getting about a subscriber or two a week since I've started this series. So if you're new, I appreciate your subscription, and I hope you enjoy the videos. I'm glad to have you. It's always glad, nice to you know grow the channel and and know that people actually want to see your content. So it really means a lot, and I appreciate it. You guys can leave plenty of comments and let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what you want to see, stuff like that. Okay, so we got the uh, we got that crap out of the way. Let's go ahead and do an overview of our Pokemon now. So we have a level 33 Mikachu, a level 20 Lombre. Get that mouse out of the way. I'm not sure if that's going to show up in the video or not. Uh, we have Poliwag, level 23, Firo, level 28. So, we need to go ahead and use this HM that we got. Is it in the TM case? Yeah. Um, who are we going to use it on? Oh, are you kidding? None of my Pokemon can learn Cut. Well, that is about crazy. Okay, so I'm going to cut the video right here. And <laughs> I guess I'm going to go catch a Pokemon that can learn Cut. And I'll, I'll meet you guys right back here. Okay, guys. Welcome back. So that didn't take too long. I just went over there and caught a Nidoran. And he can learn cut, so we'll use him as our cut person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's delete a move. What well, should be forgotten? It's not that bad. Let's get rid of Growl. Boom, yeah. Learn cut. Thank you very much. Okay. I don't know if we'll keep that Nidoran or not. Probably not. I don't know. I've never had a uh, a Nido Queen or anything. Nido King, so either one. So we might keep him around just for that. Whoa! The game did not like me using Cut right there for some reason. Oh, great! Another cave. Underground tunnel. Okay, this is probably going to be lots of fun. Oh, so is this all it's going to be? We haven't found a fishing rod yet, have we? Okay, I was wondering if there were going to be Pokemon in here or not. We have a Diglett. We'll fight you, Diglett. I don't really want one though. Yeah, Lumbery can use the experience here. Ah, oh, come on. We just needed one more time. Oh, of course we're gonna miss. Let's use Fake Out. Oh, I forgot. Fake Out has to be the first move. In order for it to work. Yeah, so I'm really happy with the... I'm really happy with this series. It's really growing my channel. And I really appreciate all you guys who have subscribed. It really means a lot. I'm really excited. I didn't think that... I didn't think that when I did this series that, that that would happen, to be honest, you know. I didn't know that there... Because I've done YouTube searches since, and there's not really a whole lot of Shining Opal videos out there. There are a few that I found, but they were not in English, so... I guess that's where my subscriptions are coming from. I found people don't... You know, English people, speaking people, 
want to hear English commentary. So, that's exciting. I'm glad to have you guys on. Don't forget to leave me a lots of comments and let me know what I'm... Uh oh, magnitude 8. That can't be good. Oh, not very effective. Okay. Yeah, leave me tons of comments, guys. And, and let me know what you think. You know, give me suggestions. What am I doing wrong? What kind of Pokemon do you want me to capture? You know, what am I doing right? Of course, I always want to hear what I'm doing right, but odds are I'm probably going to hear about what I'm doing wrong. So. So, this cave looks to be a little short. I hope it's short. Yeah, we're already on our way back up now. Let's go. Man, this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> the amount that they have. There's probably items hidden there, too. Okay, here we go. So th this takes us across the bridge, I'm guessing. What's going on here? Well, I guess we're about to go find out. Bridge is unstable. Would you like to die? <laughs> Oh, all the exclamation parks. Oh, am I supposed to follow them? Are you kidding me? Now the bridge is open? That was kind of a little bit dumb. Unless there was something in that cave that I missed. I'm about to go back there off camera and check that out. But this seems a little ridiculous. Oh, let's check the grass and see what kind of Pokemon are here. Let's actually... Let's go ahead and send out our Nidoran. Get him out front. Ah, uh, Firo. Level 10. I'm wanting to find a bunch of Pokemon that I don't know about. I didn't mean to use Double Kick, but that'll work. So we'll try one more time, and then we will see what this next town is all about. Oh, a Rattata. A Rattata. I don't know how exactly you say it. Double Kick. You're out of here. Okay, well. Nothing to... Clindor City? Whoa, that's a huge building. What do you got to say, buddy? Sounds sweet. It's, it's longer, or is bigger. Maybe it's more local. Okay, whatevs, dude. Let's just do a little bit of exploring, see what's around here. We'll talk to all these guys. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I would like a fishing rod. Old rod, okay. So I think we can only capture like Magikarp with that. So I don't really know that I want one of those. A Gyarados, that is. What did she say? Okay. Get to the door, Mr. JT. Ooh, this is a bike shop? Or are there just bikes out here? This is the this is the B and B. Which is bed and breakfast, I'm assuming. Rooms are full. Well I don't want a room anyway. What do you think this is? Skyrim or something? We don't rent rooms in Pokemon. <laughs> I don't guess it is. This will be the last house, and then we'll try to figure out where we're supposed to go. Okay. Let's actually hit up the Pokemart and the Poke Center before we get into any major trouble. Where's the Pokemart? Uh, oh, the Poke Center's over here. 
let's hit this up and then we'll go see if we can finally buy some dang on super potions for a change and I'm probably gonna have to do a lot of training off camera to get everybody up to par to this next gym so not too much of an exciting episode so far just uh, traveling to the next town doing a little bit of you know stuff that you just have to do okay super potion five yeah we'll buy we'll buy five and we won't buy we have one great ball already and five pokeballs so so let's see is she gonna want to battle us I don't know what kind of Pokemon she's going to have, but let's get Lumbre out in case it is water type. Yep, here we go. Here's some action for you guys. Let's see how tough these guys are. Yep. Battle Girl. Oh my god, level 34. You're probably going to die with one hit, Lumbre. A critical hit. Um, Mikachu is the only one who's going to stand a chance. And I don't think he's going to stand much of a chance. Mind Reader. Um, Iron Tail, I guess? I don't know. That's not too much of a trade-off to me, if you ask me. Confusion, but it also raises my attack. It's kind of crazy. Come on, Mikachu, you can do it. Oh my god. Well, we're losing. I need to do much. I need to do some more training. We're not ready for this yet. Oh, come on, two times. Okay, cool. Oh, we are so not ready for that. Not ready at all. But where are we going to train at? Because the grass coming in into here was level 10s, wasn't it? That's not going to do at all. How long it would take to get up to level 35 with only battling level 10 Pokemon? That would take way too long. So uh, maybe we're just not supposed to actually go that way just yet. Hmm. What's up with you? Okay, we'll go swimming then. Guessing this is the gym. Skateboarding and surfing duo. Huh. Can't go this way. So there's no other way for us to actually go. But this way. Did we check this house? <laughs> Most kids would. <laughs> So this is like a resort town, I guess. That's what I'm gathering from all this. Okay, none of these people have anything useful to say. Okay, a bug catcher. That's what he looks like to me anyway. I could be wrong. So let's get Firo out.
let's try this. There's nowhere else for us to really to go, so. Butterfree. Nidoran. <laughs> I hate that whirlwind attack. I ain't doing nothing. I should have just switched him out immediately. I hate that, that, that whirlwind because I wanted Firo to get all the experience and because he did whirlwind splitting it between him and Nidoran, which isn't too bad. Nidoran needs to level up anyway. She didn't even get a level out of that. What did that say? Beedrill? Yeah. Firo needs to learn some more flying attacks. Hopefully, yeah, Firo will get all the experience for this. Okay. I need to get me a chart and use it while I'm playing this game so I can know the, uh, the levels and everything. Or the, uh, the, the, the right types to use with who. Who do I have out front? Firo still? Alright, we'll keep him out front. I think I'm in trouble. Yeah, well. See, that looked like a girl, but yet there's a guy. It's obviously a male. Azumarill. What was that? Azumarill. Um. Let's see if we can get him down and finish him off with Lombre. Double Edge. What is that going to do? Okay. Because he'll probably one-shot Lombre. Okay, I might kill my Firo. Almost. Okay, so if, if Lombre can't do it, then we'll... Mikachu can... Take over. Bubble Beam. That's going to do a fair amount of damage, even though it's not effective. Oh, okay. I was wrong. Wrong again, guys. Wrong again. Okay, double edge might kill us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at this game, aren't I, guys? So good at this game. Actually, I, I actually never claimed to be good at this game. For you guys who don't know, who missed the first couple episodes, I talk about... Um, my experience with the Pokemon games and that... I haven't played played actually you know played through a whole Pokemon game since back in Pokemon Red I think it was called back red and blue and yellow I think I played uh, Pokemon Red I think I actually miss said and said I played Fire Red I think Fire Red and Pokemon Red are actually two different versions of the game so anyway I I played Pokemon Red it's been a very very long time ago where am I going? Yeah, this way. So, and like, that was like when I was 12, 13 years old. <laughs> Something like that. I'm now 25 years old. So it's been like 10 years since I've played a Pokemon game. So I hope you guys can cut me some slack. <laughs> and don't ridicule me and hate me too much for... For not doing the right things at the right time. Yeah, we were ice skating again there for a minute. There's our ice skating. Woo! Alright, we'll do one more battle and this will probably be the end of the episode. The arena, huh? Come on. 
I need to start playing right and having my low levels come out first. I do know that, you know, that's a rule or whatever for leveling up your lower level Pokemon. God, why did Pikachu get poisoned? Or Mikachu. I think I said Pikachu. <laughs> Super effective. Oh, I think that's the first time we've confused with confusion in a very long time. Hurt yourself and die. Almost. Let's go with the Iron Tail. Ah, oh, you know what? I should have just healed. Or healed my poison, that is. You don't really know. Uh, no, I guess not. And I know when I, I've noticed that in my videos, it I'll say no, I won't change out, but yet I'm still hovering over the yes mark. I'm just pressing B. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh. I don't know what's up with the emulator today. It's probably more my computer than it is the actual emulator. Let's try a handy dandy super potion. Oh, much better. That is. The guy who made this ROM hack is just trying to make it so hard on us last time by not being able to use super potions. That was kind of uh, ridiculous. I don't know how many Pokemon he has. I need to start paying attention to that a little bit better. That's a level up for Mikachu. Scyther. No. The level is Scyther. 33. Pretty intense battle. Super potion. Go. Okay, good. Paralyzed. That's what we like to see. Gonna use all our super potions. Okay. Hopefully he'll get paralyzed after this. I don't know how it works, but I think you should be more likely to be paralyzed <laughs> after, yeah, after you have an electric attack done to you. So let's try something crazy, and it probably won't work, but I'm going to try it anyway. Okay. <laughs> I want to try to get one of these guys some experience. See if we can get a paralyzed or something. Oh, man. He only has a slither. This should do it. Okay, Lumpery hasn't learned any new attacks since we've called him. Alright, well, there's been a little bit of progress this episode, so thank you guys for watching. This is LPM with JT. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and, and some comments, and if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more, if you want to see me complete this game which I am planning on doing and I'll see you guys next time